and commodities market, we're looking at ammonia. Ammonia is otherwise known as a hydrogen nitride and is a very critical input for fertilizer and agricultural productivity. Ammonia has come into the spotlight recently in global and domestic markets due to significant hikes in prices by 100% from $325 per ton in January to $650 currently. Why is this? Lawrence Messi, research analyst with Financial Derivatives Company, will tell us. Hello, Lawrence. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. So the hike in price of ammonia is evident in the global market and in individual markets like the U.S. and China. What is responsible for this astronomical hike, and do you think that it is sustainable? This hike in prices is largely attributable to supply constraints existing in the markets, which is also accompanied by increasing demand, especially across crop-growing countries and environments mainly. Uh, supply constraints are largely caused by one, uh, the Arctic blast, which uh, took place in February. This caused rerouting of natural gas, and as a result, nitrogen and consequently ammonia factories were also shut down for almost about two weeks. This actually caused prices to skyrocket for a period of time. Also, is uh, an increase in commodities prices across board, which has caused um, farmers, especially in the U.S., uh, to make use of more inputs and uh, use out of their storage as well. And as a result of this, with increasing demand, they are not able to meet up with their foreign capacity and supply. And all these factors account for um, this astronomical hike in prices. Now, is this sustainable? Uh, at current trends, we expect that the high prices are going to continue in the short term. But in the longer term, we expect that supply will catch up, but this would be sometime in mid-2020. Now, ammonia is used mainly in fertilizer production, house cleaning chemicals, refrigerators, and air conditioning gas. However, research states that um, about 80% of all ammonia produced goes into fertilizer production. What do you think an increased fertilizer intake of ammonia would mean for the agricultural sector in Nigeria? Currently, according to the uh, NBS report, agriculture contributes about 22-23% uh, of GDP. And this is taking into consideration uh, the fact that Nigeria doesn't use the most modern means of agricultural uh, production. Uh, research also shows that um, soil fertility conservation techniques being used are uh, things are uh, mulching, uh, shifting cultivation, uh, crop, crop rotation, and bush following. These are all, would I say, archaic techniques in our uh, soil fertility. But taking into account all of this, the fact that agriculture still provides greater than 20% of overall GDP, this is quite impressive. So the use of fertilizers will eliminate all these uh, obsolete techniques and will also increase crop yield and productivity in the short term and in, in the long term. However, it's essential to note that there are some drawbacks from increased fertilizer usage, uh, such as uh, algae formation in seeds, which cause the death of um, biological plants. Well, in summary, increased fertilizer usage is expected to cause an increase and a rapid growth in the agricultural sector as it eliminates obsolete techniques in soil fertility conservation. Now, the NSIA and uh, OCP signed an MOU earlier this year to facilitate the furtherance of the uh, Presidential Fertilizer Initiative. Now, this agreement is set to see the construction of a $1.5 billion ammonia fertilizer factory in Akwa Ibom State. What is the possible impact of this investment and how would it have a multiplier effect on the economy? Well, the uh, NSI OCP MOU is expected to um, create uh, a factory that will have a capacity of about 1.5 uh, million tons per year. However, 70% of this is to be exported to Morocco. The balance would then be used to produce diammonium phosphate fertilizers and NPK uh, fertilizers. Uh, the multiplier effects that this will have would be one, it will be an increase in jobs, especially in the construction industry. 
Then it also involves an in increase in jobs, especially uh, in the administrative process of this factory and also for technical engineers and agricultural specialists. It also um, have a multiplier effect in services industries such as banking as there will be more funds flowing in and also insurance against such a capital investment. This investment is expected to increase GDP and also expected to also bring along other value added industries along with it in short term and in the long term. All right, thank you very much uh, for your time, uh, Lawrence. We do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the day.